Uh, my favorite political movie, I've got a, I mean, there are a lot of, I like a lot of political movies. I think the thing off the top of my head when you ask me that question that comes to mind is Network, which isn't obviously political, but it's got a lot of political themes or a lot of political things at stake. It's basically a movie that came out in 1976 by Sidney Lumet and is about the day-to-day -day operations of a television network, um, like an ABC, CBS, NBC sort of network. Um, and it's about basically what happens when changes at the network drive one of the anchors to lose his mind and he threatens to to leave and or he th he basically says it's going to be his last show and he riles up all the viewership um, to go crazy but I mean the thing that sort of fascinates me about that movie is the way in which as a satire it manages to get a lot of things right about race and gender and who runs these companies and who, who gives us your entertainment and who gives us your TV. Uh, I think that there just hasn't, there have been very, very few movies in the last 40 or 50 years that have been that smart and accidentally prescient about what American culture is gonna be like. Yes. I mean, it depends. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a complicated, it's a, com it's a complicated question, it's a complicated answer. The complicated, the simple part is movies more now than, than, than the last 50, more, more movies now than, than in the last 50 years have taken up the subject of race uh, in, a, in a way that is less fraught and less confrontational. Um, so that you could have a movie with people of different colors that aren't about how everybody's of a different color. Um, but I also think things have changed enough for me. Uh, I think that a lot of movies that you see are still predominantly starring white actors. Um, and not only predominantly, but sort of unapologetically. Like there's no attempt to sort of bring in like an Asian best friend or a black neighbor or any of the sort of stereotypes that you would have a person of color occupy before um, in a lesser role you have now. Um, and so I do, I, I wonder, I don't think there's enough complaining about that ongoing problem. And so the accuracy in the representation of race, I think when, when movies now do depict race, I think it is, it is done in, in a way that seems authentic maybe to the makers of, <laughs> of the thing in question, but I don't know that I necessarily, I, I don't think it's always terribly accurate. Um, and I'm not even sure what accurate would even mean in a general sense, but I'm trying to think of a specific example in which there is some kind of inaccuracy. I think, you know, a lot of period pieces, for instance, assume that, that there is either an animosity among people of different races because it was a long time ago and things just seem more fraught a long time ago, or that there was more harmony than there was. When I really think there was a kind of, it was slightly more, it was a lot more ambivalent than, I, than, than the movies are capable of, or the, than the movies think they're capable of, of dramatizing. I mean, I think maybe the, the more interesting answer to that question, so that I don't have to actually answer the question since I don't have, I don't have a particularly I'm, there's, pro, there's at least two or three obvious examples of things that I'm not thinking of at the moment that have like led to hearings or that or something along those lines. But I, you know, I think movies are a really interesting way to think about history and about what history means. And I think that the sort of social value of a lot of movies um, is is as interesting to me and as useful as 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 actual policy. Um, and 
So I'm trying to think of a good example of something like that. I think usually, I think anything involving a lot of things involving race, <coughs> excuse me, um, and gender. I mean, political things. I mean, things that things that actually make a difference in people's lives or, or seem to make a difference in people's lives. I I would say something like Brokeback Mountain, which is not. I, I like that movie. I think it works. But I think that movie did a lot for the perception among a certain class of people about who was gay and who could be gay. Um, I'm not going to say that it led to the passing of any legislation, but I think that that was a movie that definitely was part of this cultural change in terms of how we thought about gay people and what rights they should and couldn't have. Um, you know, that movie was a, when that movie came out in 2005, it was a big deal. Um, and amazingly it lost to a movie about what a racial mess Los Angeles is at the Oscars. But, um, I think Brokeback Mountain is an important movie, uh, because I think it was at the beginning of the change in, of a, of a conversation about gay people in America, um, and what their, what their place should be uh, from the standpoint of civil rights.